Well, taking care of your mental health nowadays is so critically important. And one eight year old in Sheboygan reminds us of that. Our Taylor Lumpkin introduces us to her after she raised an incredible amount of money for a cause near and dear to her heart. <laughs> Kylie Brunette is your typical eight year old girl. She enjoys sports, playing with her siblings, and loves her family. Good one, Candace. But what you might not know is that at just six years old, her world came to a halt after her dad, 32-year-old Jordan Wakefield, died by suicide. Do you miss him? Yeah. Yeah. I miss him every day. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until a couple of months ago that Kylie learned what actually happened from her mom. That conversation inspired Kylie to set up a lemonade stand right down the street from her house the week of her dad's birthday, July 9th. We wanted to raise the money so that, in honor of my dad, so that no other kid would have to go through losing a parent. And everything she's been through to come out on top and to use it to push her and drive her further, that's just... It's amazing. In total, Kylie ended up raising $800 for mental health awareness. And today, she took her initiative a step further. Okay. Driving to the Mental Health America organization in Sheboygan to surprise a nonprofit with a donation. Go and tell them how much you raised. $800. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. <laughs> and you decided to give it all to us? I am so proud of her. Mm -hmm. She is the most incredible most incredible eight-year-old I could have ever asked for. Kylie says while her dad may not be here, she knows he's smiling down watching her. I miss my dad a lot and I hope that, and I can't wait to see him again soon. And she's continuing to inspire others along the way. That was so great. You were so amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Thank you both. In Sheboygan, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News. And she is an amazing little girl. And if you are in need of someone to talk to or help, you can call the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. And as a reminder, the switch to the three-digit 988 number will happen on Saturday. All right, well, thanks for waking up with us this morning. As we take a break, let's take a live look outside. Soak up that sunshine today because we're going to see some possible stormy weather on the way when the rain messes up. All right, welcome back. It is now time for your Wisconsin weekend in a minute. And we start off with, with what is probably the most unique and wild event happening this weekend. On Saturday over at Veterans Park, crazy engineers will attempt to defy gravity with their wacky homemade flying devices in the Red Bull Flutog. 35 teams will launch their flying machines, plunge into Lake Michigan. You'll see everything from flying cows to a banana truck. The teams will be judged on their distance and creativity. The event is free and starts at 1 p.m. Then it's an event we've been talking about all morning. The French theme festival of Bastille Days returns to Milwaukee. The festival starts today and runs through the weekend. Thousands are expected to take place and storm the Bastille. It's a 5K run walk that starts tonight on North Jefferson Street adjacent to Cathedral Square Park. And over in Port Washington, thousands of fish lovers and people are... <laughs> I'm looking at Tom. He is jumping. He is screwing me up right now. Okay, Port Washington, Port Fish Day. It's a good event. Go to that one. Finally, on Sunday, some of the most iconic rock bands will jam out to American Fan. No, okay, oh, listen. Oh. I can see Tom in this monitor up here, and he is jumping around. So that keeps me off. Everybody around here thinks I'm crazy. I'm like, he is jumping. He's excited that I'm not going to make it. He's excited to see me fail. Oh, my God. I feel like that was unfair because she saw you in the monitor He's just jumping and like ready this. to go. And you were no, distracting no, 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 her, no. Tom. She was on a roll. The and script doing so said a good. minute and 16 seconds. One minute, 16 <laughs> seconds, which is too long to begin with. No, and she was still on the it. first event when she had 40 <laughs> seconds left. No way it was going to happen. I could have done do it. Me. I could have definitely done it. But. All right, all right. Okay, well, anyway, let me say this. Let me say this. To check out these events, because I didn't finish this, and more, head to our TMJ4.com, our website, or sign up for our newsletter. You can do that at TMJ4.com. So we have all the events listed on our website. Adriana, I'm always on your side. Always. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. I appreciate now, that. Notice which one I brought with me. To, <laughs> <let's>, I know. <laughs> let's get to Brian Nizniewski now to find out what I'm, it's going to look like for all these great events this weekend, Brian. 
I, I missed the first part of it. Did she have the Flugtag uh, Red Bull thing that's going <laughs> yes. on at uh, Veterans Park? Yes. Okay, yeah. That, I, I was just doing research on that test. That looks like it's going to be awesome. If you haven't checked it out, it's, it looks crazy. People uh, marked uh, closed here, Adriana. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of roads that are closed for the Bastille Days event. Also for the Storm the Bastille 5K run walk happening tonight. So that run walk starts at North Jefferson Street adjacent to Cathedral Square Park and it'll take you through the streets of Milwaukee as well as the historic Third Ward. So you will see road closures out on Broadway Street, Watson Avenue, as well as Milwaukee Street. You'll also see those road closures around the Cathedral Square Park for that event. Now, if you are traveling out there tonight or this weekend, there are many ways to get there, but expect limited parking. If you are looking for street parking, there is a parking structure located on Jackson Street that'll get you one block from the festival, and you could always take the hop, which is now legal. Hop, the M line stops in the middle of the festival. So lots of ways to get to storm the Bastille. Just give yourself extra time if you are traveling in the downtown area this weekend, because not only do you have this event happening just down the road at Veterans Park, you also have the Red Bull flu talk event that's happening this weekend on Saturday. So there's going to be a lot of people near the lakefront and in the downtown area. All right, the roadways this morning look good. We're not seeing any issues as you are traveling out the door.